several days I mean I haven't filmed since my last video which that was filmed Friday it is currently Tuesday so it's been four days and that really bothers me because I keep seeing things and I'm like oh my god I really want to edit or I really want to film and then I realize I don't have anything to film so now I'm just recording the Alexa turn it down so this is just like a weekly vlog I guess I don't even know also it is insanely freaking hot in here I don't know why it shouldn't be, but it is. But it is after school. Um, I just need to take down my hair because this is all Okay, it is currently after school. My hair is a mess. That's okay. Um, I'm gonna make myself something to eat because I'm actually kind of hungry. Okay. Okay. Fun fact: literally one of my most favorite things ever is bread. Like, it's in my top 10 foods. I love bread so much, don't ask why. Okay, I don't need the carbs, but it's really good. Um, personally, sourdough is my favorite. And I also eat bagels a lot. So, my mom bought me sourdough bagels. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so excited about that. But I love bagels and I love sourdough. So, sourdough bagels. And they're like, lightly salted with seeds and they're really good okay this is carly's number one after school snack <laughs> okay first up this seems dramatic this is a bread knife i promise okay it's already half cut but obviously it's not cut enough to open it so over the trash can so you don't get crumbs everywhere you just lightly go along the line make sure it's cut fully through cut away from you I know, um, yeah, cut away from you. Okay, next you take these little bagel pieces and you put them, this is an air fryer, but it also toasts. So you wanna, the shelf is in the <laughs> So you wanna toast it. All like air fryers or toasters are different, but I prefer to toast it like midway. So then it's like soft. But not, but not like super hard to chew. While that's toasting, you're gonna get your plate and you're gonna get some strawberries. Okay, personally, in my family, we buy, like literally, we can eat an entire pack of strawberries in like a day. But we cut it up, we cut all of like one or two packs up and we put them in a large container. So then we can just like, eat when we want without having to worry about like cutting them and if you know me i love strawberries literally like my second favorite fruit because watermelon's on top but i'm kind of scared that's that love for watermelon's fading away but it's not summer yet so okay then banana now personally to get myself to eat more I always make it so all of my food looks as appetizing as possible. In order to do that, I dish it correctly so I have this little knife and I just cut it into little slices. At this point, the bagel is done and it's nice and soft now. We simply wipe off little knife and then we take out our cream cheese Okay. Normally I put avocado with the bagel, but um, I don't really feel like doing that right now because I don't feel like putting in the effort to cut up the whole avocado. Um, but the more appetizing the food looks to you, the more you're gonna wanna eat it and therefore the more you are going to want to eat. So if you ever like stop eating for whatever reason, Make your food like appetizing and you'll get right out of it. I'm not gonna record myself eating the rest of this because a lot of people don't like 
saying that. So we'll just leave that to you. Anyways, the point of doing my hair, because I wanted to feel pretty a little bit, okay? I like feeling good about myself. I think. Ugh. I like feeling good about myself, okay? I don't think there's a single person on this earth who doesn't like to feel good about themselves. We all like to feel good about ourselves at some point. Sometimes I need like a pick me up or something. I don't know. Pick me ups are good. You know, we all need a pick me up at some point. There we go. I don't know what that looks like. You tell me. Anyways. I have to clean my room, not because it's required, but when my room is messy, it bothers me. And um, I think it's safe to say my room is a little bit messy. So we're gonna do that. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. What am I doing? Let's cue the Mondahada. Okay, so somehow I spent so long talking to people or like texting people at some point that I like literally just forgot to clean my room. So it's now nighttime and I had to do the dishes. So I emptied the dishwasher and then I had to load the dishwasher, which there was an insane amount of dishes. And then finally I had to work on this mess. Don't ask me how it happened. I don't know. After I got back from the cruise, everything was just a mess. And then I found out that I haven't used my iPad in so long that um my ex was still my background so I had to change that real quick but anyways I just literally my favorite movie that I was still in the middle of um which is Glass Onion I so highly recommend I love that movie so much um but then I had to do my laundry which was very needed because this whole thing was a huge mess and it was really really bothering me I don't know why and then my vanity was also bothering me because I had a ton of dirty dishes from when I was sick. And then it was late enough to the point I had to like take off all my makeup and do my skincare and stuff. I highly recommend using vitamin C serum if you don't sleep at night. Because um, it gets rid of um, a lot of dark circles and it gets rid of like acne scars and whatnot. Um, but anyways, I continued washing glass onion and did my homework after that because it was well needed. I said like my background has been like this for the longest time it's bothering me so I accidentally ripped paint off the wall regardless I found an idea to do a sticky note wall but I'm kind of rethinking it I had a ton of my friends um right on the like translucent sticky notes I use for um annotating problem is I don't think it's gonna look good so I'm gonna try to set it up right now see if it works also currently reading the ugly rising great book highly recommend um i'm gonna try to figure this out <laughs> to be truly honest with you i don't hate it but i don't know if i like it either on camera it kind of looks like tiles hold on <laughs> okay i asked one of my friends um, they weren't very helpful with their opinion, but you know what? It worked. Um, I think it looks a little weird. It looks too much like tile. On camera, it looks like tile. So instead of putting it on my main wall, which means I have to figure out something else to do, I have this little section that we're going to do. I don't know if that music is too loud. And It looks kind of stupid. Um, I just put it like on the edge there. I don't know. Whatever. It's it is what it is. But I don't want to get rid of those sticky notes because I had my friends make them. Okay, all of this is like my scrapbooking stuff. So we're gonna go through this and try to find like cute little prints and whatnot, and see what I can get. Out. Okay, straight up, I just found like anything I could. Like I got old music I composed in one of my band classes. I got sticky notes. 
my friends had drawn a letter I had got in from like a girl in a grade older than me for some school thing. Um, random drawings from my sketchbook, clippings from a few books like I've little written, um, gifts from my friends, sketches, like just the most randomest things I found and I just like stuck it to the wall with masking tape. I had my birthday card that I love. I don't even know. Okay, I did it. We started off with this. And this is now my background. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm going to get very mixed opinions on this. Personally, I love it. And if you don't like the background, you don't like the background. It's not your background. It's not your room either. So now I have that photo. And this. And... This entire background is literally a sum up of who I am as a person. I'm going to be adding more stuff over here at some point, and I will be adding more stuff to cover in all the excess spaces as I receive, like drawings from my friends or little things like that. Those will be now going up there. Anyways, it is now time. Alexa, what time is it? It is 5 12 p.m. Which means it is officially time to go back to cooking and you guys get to see how I'm going to do this. I don't know what this vlog is. This vlog is so weird. Okay, it is currently 5.22 and I'm going to start making dinner. Um, I'm wearing, I changed into pajama pants. I know they're Christmas pajama pants, but for some reason, like, the only pajama pants I own are, like, Christmas themed. It's so strange. Also, yeah, I kept the same shirt because it's comfortable. Um, I put my glasses back on because the entire time I was just recording, I could not see. Because I decided not to have my contacts in today, which is a stupid idea. And like, you can't, I'm so blind. I'm nearsighted. I don't, I'd like to think that's because I read, but I don't know. One of my personal traditions is every time I'm home alone all night, or it's like a night alone, I always, 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 make pizza or pasta, but usually pizza. Ooh, I love this setup. I actually have my tripod out because I can. Tonight I get the full view. So we got the pizza. I use the like Mama Mary's brand. I don't know. We get it out like So I have made dough before. But obviously, I'm not gonna put in hours worth of work when I wanna cook dinner. So, there are these pre made pizza crusts from Mama Mary's. I'll put their brand on the screen. Um, and then we we'll just save it in a Ziploc bag for the next time. Okay, we have our four main ingredients. Number one is Prego marinara sauce. And then, like, Stop and Shop brand pepperoni. I actually don't know if this is good. Oh, yeah. July 7th. Wait. Yeah. July 7th, 2024. And then, sorry, sorry, whatever. Mozzarella. And then, basil. Now, start off by setting the oven to 400 something degrees. Do a nice little thin layer. I'll show you. This is my thin layer. <laughs> um, marinara. Right now, take my rings off. Mozzarella. Mozzarella is definitely one of my favorite kinds of pieces. Fun fact, I'm an extremely picky eater. So for several, several years, I only ate cheese pizza. Um, as do a lot of people around the world. There's no shame in it. I love cheese pizza. But I was recently introduced to pepperoni and pizza, which I've always been scared of because um, it's just not my thing. But I was recently introduced to it and now I don't mind it as much. So I'm gonna do half pepperoni, half cheese. 
And because this pizza is so small, it's like three pieces of pepperoni and then just the rest of cheese. And then um, the final addition is the seasoning, which is just basil. Now we set this aside as we wait for the oven to do that. And now we're gonna wipe off the counter and we're gonna make my dog's dinner. <laughs> Okay, by far, my absolute favorite movie is Glass Onion, or Knives Out. They're like the same thing. Well, they're not the same thing, but like, I love Glass Onion. I've watched that movie at least 50 times. I watch it like twice a week. I literally just watched it last night. I recorded myself watching that last night while doing my homework. I don't know why, but I love it. Also, a few other good movies, Enola Holmes, and Enola Holmes 2, and Damsel. Love that. Um, Murder Mystery, Murder Mystery 2. Um, yeah. I love like action, fantasy, romance. Well, I don't watch a lot of romance movies. I read romance books. I don't watch a lot of romance movies. You know. But that is two hours and 20 minutes. So now we are fully prepared. Okay, now we're just waiting for my pizza to cook and I don't know what to do with me. household doesn't have like anything is to make a mug cake so this includes milk baking soda salt vegetable oil vanilla extract cocoa powder sugar and flour and I will update you guys once I put it in the microwave because I need the recipe to do this and I'm recording on my phone right now. Here's our ingredients. Now we must mix. I haven't had dessert in a while, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't just spill cocoa powder all over our time. I think mug cakes are really cool, personally. I've made a lot of them in my time. Although the other times I've made them, I make them without a recipe and it always ends up really bad because I'm just like measuring with my heart and my heart is almost never correct. I don't know how long I'm supposed to put this in the microwave for. If the batter tastes good, then you know the cake's gonna be good. Batter tastes good. Okay. Ooh, it's done. Taste test, it's gonna be hot though. This smells so good. Ooh, that's probably the most sturdy cake I've ever made. This is the, probably the most like together mug cake I've ever made. That's absolutely so good. There's nothing wrong with following recipes. It ends up so much better when you follow recipes. Oh my god, this song is so good, dude. I've been listening to it on repeat. It's a problem. It's time to do my homework. Let's go. It is currently 10 o'clock. I have 145 minutes of footage to edit. Um, 
But this video was really fun to film. I was gonna film more days, but considering how long this video already is, I think it's probably gonna be like a half an hour-ish. I don't want a longer video on this channel. At least not yet, because my audience will not stay like focused on a video for that long. Um, because of how little people I have subscribed to me and their attention span. And I'm not that entertaining and I know I'm not. So <laughs> that's gonna be it for this video but thank you guys so much for watching this video was really fun to make and i hope you enjoyed me being absolute chaos i love you guys so much bye